Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to go over a topic that very much blends traditional medicine with the modern cutting edge science that we see today. It is referring to an ingredient that you find in most of your favorite dishes, but what you might not be aware of is the tremendous cardiovascular benefits of this ingredient. And today I am talking to you about garlic. More specifically, these preparations of garlic called black garlic or aged garlic extract, which are essentially referring to the same thing. This type of garlic has benefits with blood pressure, cholesterol, inflammation. It has a ton of cardiovascular benefits and that's what I'm gonna break down for you today. How this very simple thing can have a very powerful effect on your cardiovascular system from many different angles. But before I jump into that, I just wanna take about 30 to 60 seconds of your time to go over my passion project that is launching this month. This is referring to my holistic hypertension course. It's called the Holistic Hypertension Solution. So the course includes six in-depth modules with many videos and corresponding slides. So if you are a visual learner, or if you prefer to read things, there are all of those resources available to you. It goes over all of the different systems that relate to blood pressure. These are the natural proven strategies to help lower blood pressure from a root cause perspective. And then there's a ton of bonus resources to really help guide you along the way and support you as much as possible. And then lastly, there are six weeks of live group calls so that if you have any questions, I can provide guidance along the way. So I'm very excited to launch this. And as a thank you guys for all of your ongoing support, this first launch is gonna be priced incredibly low. It will never be this low again, but I'm just so excited to get you guys in. And again, the doors do close at the end of the month and it's priced at $200 Canadian so that hopefully it's as accessible as possible. And so yeah, if this is something that you're interested in, there will be a link in my bio and a link in the video description so you can go check out and learn more and see if this is something that you're interested in. But that's all I'll say about the course that I'm launching. And so today let's dive into how these garlic extracts can help heal your cardiovascular system. So the first thing that I wanna cover is what makes these garlic preparations so unique and so powerful. And this has a lot to do with the unique compounds that are found within garlic. And so garlic is really well known in the medicinal world for its sulfur containing compounds like allicin, alanin, there's S allele cysteine. We also have things like polyphenols and flavonoids inside garlic. It's also incredibly rich in certain trace minerals like selenium and iron. It's really rich in B vitamins and antioxidants, but it's really those earlier compounds that give garlic its uniqueness. Of course, there's lots of foods that have antioxidants and B vitamins and trace minerals inside of it, but the things like allicin and alanin are very unique to garlic. And the interesting thing is by heating and fermenting the garlic in these specific ways, which is what black garlic and aged garlic extract are doing, they're taking very specific temperatures, humidities, and fermenting this particular garlic so that it increases those compounds, which is really interesting because a lot of the times when you heat foods, it actually destroys a lot of these compounds. But these very specific preparations will actually make them increase in content. So it'll enrich the garlic and make it even more medicinal. So black garlic, for example, it uses a very specific reaction called the Mallard reaction, which again is just very specific temperatures and a controlled environment designed to increase these compounds that are really beneficial for the cardiovascular system. So for example, one of the more powerful antioxidants, the S allele cysteine can go up seven to nine times. So you take garlic to start out with and you increase that compound by seven to nine times just by preparing it in a very specific way. 
But it's not just that compound. The antioxidant content in general, with that just being one of the types of antioxidants, goes up three to seven times when you do this special preparation. We also have specific things like these phenol compounds, like gallic acid that goes up again in a similar fashion. It becomes more concentrated with time. And then the last thing I wanna mention, because it's also very unique to garlic, is garlic actually has something called superoxide dismutase, which is a type of free radical scavenger. So basically what this particular compound does is it'll go around and clean up oxidative stress throughout the body. Oxidative stress, stress is essentially referring to an imbalance inside the body where you do not have enough antioxidants to compensate for all of these free radicals that are going around damaging your body and creating a ton of inflammation. So something like superoxide dismutase helps clean those things up and find a better balance so that you're not becoming as inflamed and not getting as much damage building up inside of the arteries and inside of the heart. And this compound has been shown to go up approximately 13 times by doing this specific preparation. So this is why these particular garlic extracts are so powerful is because they take what's already quite medicinal. Garlic is very good for a lot of things and it just really concentrates all of those compounds that we really care about and that is what makes it so powerful and have so many different effects inside the body that are of benefit. So that is most of what I'll say about that. Let's move on to some of the benefits now and the research that shows those benefits. The first thing I wanna talk about because it probably has the most evidence associated with it is these extracts ability to lower your high blood pressure. If we look at some of the meta-analysis that have been performed on aged garlic extracts, meaning they looked at many different studies and came up with a conclusion on an average, what they have found is that these extracts can lower your systolic blood pressure, which is that top number you see when you get a blood pressure reading, by approximately seven to 16 millimeters of mercury, which is the unit of measurement. And it's been shown to lower your diastolic, AKA the bottom number, by about five to nine millimeters of mercury. And so just to put that into context, that is on par with a lot of the prescription medications that you see on the market designed to lower blood pressure. Now, it also begs the question of how these garlic extracts are doing that. So some of the mechanisms that they have found is that A, it's a vasodilator, which means it opens up the blood vessels. And of course, that's going to reduce the pressure within the system. It has also been shown to have a mild ACE inhibitor effect, which without getting into too many details, ACE inhibitors are a class of antihypertensive medications. In fact, one of the most commonly prescribed antihypertensive medications. So it has a similar mechanism to some of these medications you see. Another one that it also kind of matches and has been shown to have similar effects to are the calcium channel blockers. Again, another of those most commonly prescribed antihypertensive medications. So this is just to say that it has a lot of these mechanisms that you're trying to target with pharmaceuticals in something like garlic. If we look at some of the human studies, they have found really good results as well. So one study looked at giving people approximately a thousand milligrams of the aged garlic extract for three months and saw a reduction above, of about 10 millimeters of mercury. Another study used a more traditional Japanese preparation at only 300 milligrams a day and saw about a six to eight per, um, point reduction. And so these are not minor numbers. These are enough to significantly lower your risk of heart attacks and strokes. So that alone is also very impressive when it comes to just the simple fact that this is a garlic extract. Now let's talk about its effects on inflammation in general. Now chronic inflammation is a big deal in the context of cardiovascular disease, 
It'll make your arteries more stiff. It'll increase plaque formation inside of those arteries. It'll make your blood more likely to clot, all of which are very big deals when it comes to heart disease. And so garlic can help fight that. They looked at markers of systemic inflammation like interleukin-6, prostaglandin E, tumor necrosis factor alpha, and CRP and found that garlic can help lower all of those, which are broad markers of just overall inflammation. If we look at some of the human studies, one study that was looking at people who are on dialysis, so quite ill, and they gave them 400 milligrams of garlic twice a day. And within two months, things like IL-6 and CRP, again, huge inflammatory markers, were significantly reduced, again, just in two months. Another study looked at giving garlic for the course of a year and also found that it lowered IL-6 again in a different group, a different population of people. And so garlic is very good at helping lower overall inflammation, which is gonna have a huge impact on cardiovascular disease in general. The other interesting thing is they found that it has an effect on your immune system. So what it has been shown to do is enhance certain T cells and natural killer cells, which are types of immune cells that are really important for helping regulate inflammation and cellular response. So again, it's not only having an effect on lowering inflammation, it's also helping your immune system regulate better. And so that is going to help with inflammation as well because that's what your immune system does. It can help you fight off viruses and stuff like that, but it also is what controls inflammation, whether you have too much or not enough of it. And so just these two things alone are very interesting and of course can have knock-on effects to other illnesses because chronic inflammation isn't just specific to cardiovascular disease. Of course, that can relate to a lot of different illnesses inside the body, but for today, we're just talking about cardiovascular disease. Now, the next thing I'm going to talk about, which is fairly specific to cardiovascular disease, is cholesterol. So, these garlic extracts have very much been shown to improve cholesterol panels, such as lowering your bad cholesterol, your LDL cholesterol, which if any of you guys have heard me talk about cholesterol, you'll know that I don't actually think that is the best assessment of risk. There's something else called ApoB100, which is much more of an assessment of like heart attack and stroke risk. Interestingly enough, the garlic has also been shown to lower ApoB100. So not only the traditional bad cholesterol, which again is outdated and needs improvement, but the more accurate assessment of cholesterol, aka ApoB100, has also been shown to reduce with these garlic extracts. And then just cherry on top of all of that, it also has been shown to improve your bad cholesterol to your good cholesterol ratio. This is your LDL cholesterol to HDL cholesterol ratio, which again, in my opinion, is a better assessment of risk. So those are very significant markers to see reduced. So if we look at some of the human studies, one really interesting study that took postmenopausal women, which we all know once women hit menopause, their risk of heart disease goes way up. And they had two interventions. They had the garlic extract and then they had exercise. And within three months, these women saw a significant reduction in their total cholesterol, their bad cholesterol, LDL cholesterol, reduced weight, and reduced oxidative stress, which oxidative stress is what drives a lot of these cholesterol and heart disease problems. So again, just really impressive research on this very simple ingredient. Now let's discuss blood clotting which is referring to your platelets adhering together or clumping together. And it's a major risk factor for things like heart attack and stroke because when a clot gets caught in a blood vessel and blocks that blood vessel off, which will reduce blood flow beyond where the clot is, if that's happening in an artery or a blood vessel of the heart, that's a heart attack. If that clot gets lodged and blocks off a blood vessel of the brain, that's a stroke. 
And there's lots of different heart conditions that will make you more likely to form these clots, such as atrial fibrillation, which is quite common, issues with the valves of your heart, even just being systemically inflamed can make your blood more sticky and more able to clot. And many studies have shown that garlic helps make those platelets less likely to stick together and your blood more fluid. And so the way it's doing this is by impacting the platelets. So it affects the platelet function. It affects how the platelets will signal out, which will cause them to clump together more easily. It affects the adherence of those platelets. So it's, again, really powerful for helping prevent blood clots. And interestingly enough, this is happening in a very different mechanism than many of the blood thinners that you're on, but it is something that you still need to caution. If you are on one of these strong blood thinners, then you do need to talk to your doctor before going on something like one of these strong garlic extracts, especially in the higher doses that are required in order to see these benefits because you don't want your blood too thin because that's when you can start bleeding out and bruise real easily. Obviously, we do need some level of clotting. And so there is a little bit of a caution around this one. It can be very helpful, but if you are on some of these other blood thinners, then I would urge you to consult someone first before going on one of these extracts. Now, the last benefit I'm going to mention, I'm just going to briefly skim over because this episode's already getting quite long. And that is the fact that garlic also has been shown to have pretty good impacts on weight and metabolic syndrome. So metabolic syndrome is really referring to a cluster of things going on that are going to put you at a high risk of heart attack, stroke, and type 2 diabetes. So that's things like increased cholesterol, increased belly fat, which is the most dangerous type of belly fat, insulin problems. It's essentially saying you're a high risk individual due to many different of these risk factors and both weight and metabolic syndrome have some studies to show that garlic could be of benefit. The animal studies are very promising. It's reduced triglycerides, which are one of your cholesterol markers. It's reduced their weight and improved something like adiponectin, which improves blood sugars and fat metabolism. They've done some human studies to show that People who are already in metabolic syndrome have reduced cholesterol and inflammatory markers. So this is another area that it could be potentially useful. And the last thing I want to mention is just there is a few cautions around garlic, especially some of these more traditional preparations of garlic. The blood thinning one I've already mentioned, but the other thing is sometimes garlic can really upset people's digestive tract. And there is a very common issue that drives a lot of people's gut problems that is usually responsible for this. And so that is something called SIBO, which is small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. It essentially means you have a problem with your gut microbiome. It typically makes people very bloated, have diarrhea. Actually, IBS is very commonly associated with SIBO. It drives a lot of people's IBS. And so something like SIBO will make you very uncomfortable if you have garlic. Some of the garlic extracts can get around this, but for the most part, garlic can aggravate a SIBO person. So it doesn't always mean that you could never take that, but you would want to address your SIBO first because that's also going to really improve your gut health if you can get rid of your SIBO. But it's just something that I like to preface with because if you are taking it and it's making you really upset digestively, that might be why. Some people just flat out don't tolerate it very well, but more often than not, it has to do with another condition that if you can treat that, you can restart on those garlic extracts and be more comfortable while taking those garlic extracts. So thank you guys again for listening to this awesome episode. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below. Um, and then certainly some of the dosages in the research varies. It kind of depends on the different extracts. So these are things that you'll want to talk to your doctor about because these things can have massive benefits if you take them appropriately. So thanks again and have yourself a great day.